नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम फाइन द एक्सपोनेंशियल फोरियर से फाइन द एक्सपोनेंशियल फोरियर सीरीज एंड प्लॉट द मैग्नेट्यूड एंड फेज स्पेक्ट्रम फॉर पीरियोडिक सिग्नल एक्स ऑफ टी सो डायग्राम फॉर दिस इज गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम So this is Q1. Now the step one. calculation of cn calculation of cn so cn is equal to 1 by t0 integration t to t plus t0 x of t e raise to minus j2 pi and t by t0 d t So what is T0? T0 is the fundamental period right here. T0 is fundamental period. From given wave form. The limits for the integration. Now the limits. Limits of integration are. Are zero to one, and value of the signal is e raised to minus t. So x of t is equal to e raised to minus t. Therefore, c n is equal to. We can write this equation as. C n is equal to zero to one e raised to minus t e j two pi n t d t. So we can write this equation as t is common into d t. So we solve it and we get e raised to minus one plus j zero to one. So it is equal to one by minus of plus j two pi n. E raised to minus one plus by n minus e raised to zero. So again we solve it. Now we have the formula for now we have formula e raised to minus j theta is equal to cos theta plus j sine. 
now here what is theta theta is equal to 2 pi n and e raised to minus j 2 pi n is equal to cos of 2 pi n minus j sin of 2 pi n but cos of 2 pi n is 1 and sin of 2 pi n is equal to 0 therefore e raised to minus j 2 pi n is equal to 1 plus 1 now we can write c n is equal to 1 by 1 plus now e raised to minus 1 is 0.3678 therefore c n is equal to 1 by plus j 2 pi n 1 minus 0.368 so c n is equal to 0.632 1 plus j 2 pi n Next is step 2. Fourier series expression. So, we put putting value of Cn in equation of x of t so equation becomes x of t is equal to summation n goes from minus infinity to infinity 0 0.632 by so this is the Fourier series expression Now next is step 3, step 3 is magnitude and phase spectrum. So here mod of Cn is 
0.632 divided by square root of square. Now space spectrum is given by phi n is equal to tan inverse of I m divided by R e. So it is tan inverse of I m divided by R e for numerator. This is for numerator and tan inverse of I m by R e. This is for denominator. So we solve it and we get phi n is equal to tan inverse of 0 minus tan inverse of 2 pi n. So phi n is equal to minus tan inverse of 2 pi n. Now Next is we have to find the different values for Cn and Phi. So here we directly here we write the day draw the table that is value of n. Next is mod of Cn and Next is phi n that is in this is in radian not in degree. So for minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So here I directly write the values. So after calculation we get for minus 3 cn is 0 0.033 and it is 1.51. This value is 0 0.05. 0 0.1, 0 0.632, 0 0.15, 0 0.05. It is 1.49, The value is reversed. 51. So, next is the magnitude and spec space spectrum graph. So, first is the magnitude so it is n it is mod of cn this value is 0 0.632 then it is 0 0.1 it is 0.05 and point here it is reverse actually these values are uh, negative but because of mod we have it as it is and it is 0.1 so this is phase spectrum and next is This is phase spectrum and next is this is magnitude spectrum and here it is phase spectrum. So this diagram shows the
phase spectrum. Now the next problem find the trigonometric Fourier series was asked in exam for six marks to find trigonometric Fourier series for periodic signal x of t shown in figure and then sketch amplitude and phase spectra amplitude and phase spectra So the given diagram is here. It is x of t. It is minus one. It is plus one. It's one, two, three. It is minus one minus two okay, and this one is zero so the given signal we can redraw this given signal uh, we are not here we directly solve the problem we are not going to draw this diagram once again I just want to say that here this region sorry this is minus x of t this is plus x of t okay as x of t is equal to minus of x of minus t then it is odd signal so basic signal is from minus 1 to plus 1 and from minus 1 to 0 x of t is minus 1 and from 0 to 1 x of t is plus 1 from minus 1 to 0 x of t is minus 1 and from 0 to 1 x of t is plus 1 and after this value the signal repeats so t0 is equal to 2 okay so here we directly write the next step that is the calculation of t0 page number it is page number 6 okay step 1 is calculation of t0 So, fundamental period first is fundamental period t0 is equal to 2. Now, omega 0 is equal to 2 pi f0. So, 2 pi f0 is 1 by t0. So, it is 2 by is pi. Now, step 2 is limits of integration. Limits of integration. Now the basic signal is at the is the signal at origin. So it is from minus one to plus one, but the amplitudes are different for two portion. So we consider the first integration from minus one to zero, for which x of t is minus one. And second integration 
from 0 to 1 for which x of t is 1. So, these are the integration limits. Next is step 3 calculation of coefficient. Calculation of coefficient. So, from this figure the signal is anti-symmetric about the vertical axis. That means x of t is equal to minus of x of minus t. So, it is odd signal. Now, for odd signal a0 is 0 and an is 0. So, we have to calculate only bn as it is odd signal for we write here for odd signal a0 is 0 and an is also 0. So, we have to calculate only bn. So, bn formula is 2 by t0 t2 t plus t0 x of t sin n omega 0 t d t. Now, here what is the value of t0? It is 2 and omega 0 is pi. We have already calculated it. So, we substitute these values and we get minus 1 to 0 minus 1 sin pi n t d t plus 0 to 1. There are two integrations. So, it is 1 sin pi n t dt now we have the formula that integration of sin a t dt is minus cos of a t by a and here a is pi n so we use this formula here and we can write uh, by expression as b n is equal to cos of n pi n t by pi n it is plus Okay, minus as it is already minus and minus minus gets plus. So, it is from minus 1 to 0 plus it is minus cos of pi n t by pi n 0 to 1. So, it is we substitute this integration values here and we get here I directly write the final answer as we get b n is equal to 1 by pi n 2 minus 2 cos of pi n. But what is cos of pi n? It is minus 1 raised to n. So, b n is equal to 1 by pi n 2 minus 2 minus 1 raised to n. So, this is the value of b n. Now, expression equation x of t. We have to write the equation x of t. Now, write here equation x of t is given as x of t is equal to a0 plus summation n goes from 1 to infinity a in cos of n omega 0 t plus summation n goes from 1 to infinity b n sin n omega 0 so, we substitute here values a0 is 0 plus 0 so we substitute here value of bn and we get equation xt is summation n goes from 1 to infinity 2 minus 2 of minus 1 raised to n sin n omega 0 Okay. Now the step 4. What is step 4? Step 4 is magnitude and phase spectrum. Magnitude and phase spectrum. Okay. Now magnitude is given by m is equal to square root of a n square plus b n square. But here n is 0. So, m is equal to square root of b n square. So, it is b n. And phase is given by phi is equal to tan inverse of b n by a n. So, tan inverse of b n by 0. So, tan inverse of infinity it is pi by 2. Now, 
so the phase remain constant irrespective of the values of n so here the value of n to draw the graph we have to know the all the values magnitude that is magnitude and this is phase phi so it is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so here i directly write the answers it is 4 by pi 0 4 by 3 pi 0 by 5 pi it is it remain unchanged okay it remains same for all the values now we have to draw the magnitude spectrum and the phase spectrum so it is n it is magnitude 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so for 1 it is 4 by pi for 2 it is 0 for 4 it is 0 for 3 it is 4 by 3 pi and it is 4 by 5 pi okay so this is magnitude spectrum and next is phase spectrum phase spectrum values are same for all the values of n it is phase spectrum this is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 it is pi by 2 okay this is phase spectrum so these are the diagrams for magnitude and phase spectrum